Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 11 of I'm in Love with the Villainous. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh -oh. <laughs> of course. Again, the Nana Mizuki effect. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> and you really don't have time to talk about this. I mean, I know you, you want to. Oh my god. <laughs> But you're so jealous, baby, and that's okay.
Of course. Cool. Sometimes love is definitely blind. <laughs> uh oh. Well, I mean, yeah, duh, you're flirting right in front of her with somebody else, babe. <laughs> the fact that she knows and... <laughs> Well, yeah, of course she has feelings for Claire. Why? Yeah, I mean, Maya seems fine. <laughs> well, it seems like it.
But you are, though. Don't doubt your instincts. And don't doubt how much you feel about her. You love her. Oh. Seriously? Of course, she's going to get even more serious. <laughs>
With that, she should have freaking died. Oh my god. Oh! have to go that far though what if she actually died Get yeah, you thought. But hold up, we're like eighteen minutes in the episode. But oh, I mean, even though she knew that possibly that she, regardless, she was going to lose, like still. Manila went too far. Way too far. God, Mizuki, what you doing, ma'am? Oh my god, you turned it into the villain of this show. I mean, because for like the longest time, like Claire was kind of the villain, even though, yeah, she's not, but still. She just a villain is, but still, you a villain. Oh my god, girl. I, I, I don't know how to feel right now. The fact that she also was like, just literally saying like, okay, so it's official. You'll now back off. Claire's mine. Like, oh my God, that hurt. But all I'm going to say is when somebody wants something or wants someone that they want from themselves, they will do anything in their power to make that person all theirs and no one else's and such. And that's exactly what she did. I just feel bad for Ray because now, in a way, it's over for her. Throw the anger in her eyes. Oh.
right? That's a problem. But to her. But it's true, though. It's true, though. Okay, this hurts. This truly freaking hurts. Like, the fact is that Mana did what she did. That they both agreed that they would have this match to see who would have Claire for herself. I wish that in that moment, if Claire had known beforehand, maybe she could have done something to stop it. But who knows? Knowing both of these girls, they would have done every, anything in their power to be like, uh-uh, like, we, we duking this. Like, we not fighting to the death or anything, but we need to figure out, like, out of the two of us, who do you love more? Yes, it's either do you choose the first love, the one that you've known for the longest time, or do you, you know, stray away from the safetyness of that first love and go into the... I wouldn't say the dangerous atmosphere of Ray because Ray isn't dangerous. And I think when I mean dangerous and when comparing it to all these other romance series that I have seen and as someone who loves the crap out of romance and stuff, let's compare this to the Vampire Diaries in a nutshell. So you know how like, um, whether you've read the books or you've watched the TV show, okay. Um, Elena always had to choose between Stefan and Damon and Stefan was the, the safety net the bubble the the one that like pretty much you would literally bring to your parents home the respectable one out of the two brothers and Damon was the passionate one not to say that Stefan wasn't passionate as well but Damon was very much like the dangerous one and so you know what I kind of want to take that back and say Mana is more like a Damon and Ray is more like a, of a Stefan and such but 
because um, I mean, because we also talk about vampire diaries and the show Lena fell in love with Damon first. So yeah, that goes more into that territory. But yeah, do you choose the safety net or do you go down that dangerous route, even though that might end up hurting you? And right now, even to the point, 11 weeks in, guessing next week is the finale and such, she is still questioning her feelings and stuff. And we know since day one, Ray has been all up on this. She's been very gung-ho on being in love with Claire and such. Even if it's to the point where Claire is not in love with her, but, you know, it's like, I, I care about her happiness and stuff. But this, which is really sweet and stuff. That's the biggest thing of why I love the show so much and everything. Um, but with the way how this is going with them previous, the fact is they, they show scenes with these two together or walking past each other, like... My heart is breaking. I, I feel so bad because it's like you want these two to just get together. And it's just like their, their red ring of faith for these two. It's not working out and such. And you want it to work out for these two. That's the same way how I feel with Forbidden Deductions with, you know, the Yaoi S for Ron and Ichiki. Even though at the same time... They're just a platonic relationship, and I know they're not going to get together in the end. But they have moments where I'm like, yeah, I ship y'all together. Yeah, I kind of secretly want y'all to get together, but it's okay if you don't. Like, I also be satisfied with this show regardless, because that show is not really a romantic as vibes, but it does give romantic vibes at moments and points, even with a little bit of murder here and there and such. But I not only feel bad for Ray, I desperately feel bad for Claire because you know she's alone again she has no one you you lose first your maid and now you lose Ray and all you have is Nana I mean yeah you, you got Nana Mizuki because Nana Mizuki but she's torn and I think anybody who was in her shoes and dealing with the situation in a relationship or Anything like that, of course. They, they'd be really, truly upset. They would cry. I, I think if it was me in that situation, so what I was using <laughs> all the fantasies in my head, um, or the things that I read or just situations with guys and you have to choose between both. Thank God I've never been into a situation where I had to choose between two guys. Um, I feel for her, truly. And I hope that by next week with this finale episode that she does make the right decision and such. Now, it's funny enough, I think sometime last week I did see, um, scrolling down my Twitter timeline, I did see a little, I think it was the artwork for, I think, one of the books for this series or like the finale book or just artwork for it in general. It's official artwork and stuff. And it was them and they were married and, or no, no, they were getting married and they looked so cute together. I was like, oh, yeah. I, I wish you could see that next week, but who really knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of I'm in Love with the Villas. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.